So we're at the outset here in Romans chapter 1, and, and Paul says some amazing things about the Lord Jesus Christ and the significance of his resurrection. He says how the gospel uh, was promised beforehand uh, through the prophets and the Holy Scriptures, and he says the, this gospel is about Jesus. He says concerning his Son, Son of God, who was descended from David according to the flesh, and was declared to be the Son of God in power according to the Spirit of holiness by his resurrection from the dead, Jesus Christ our Lord. And, and I think we, we see resurrection, of course, as God in Christ uh, overcoming the grave, overcoming um, you know, sin and its effects, its consequences, which is death. Um, but I think what we fail to see is Jesus died a criminal, a blasphemer, um, a stubborn and rebellious son, really the Jewish leaders would say. Uh, he should be uh, cut off and, and excommunicated. Um, excuse me. But, but what happened was the resurrection was the Father's vindication. <laughs> the Father vindicated him. He was declared to be the Son of God in power according to the spirit of holiness through his resurrection from the dead. And so though the Romans, criminal, Jews, uh, blasphemer, uh, even you know Peter's denying him there in, in the last hours, and, and yet God the Father raises him and says, no, this is my son. He, he's not, you know, someone was mentioning at the church, he's not a liar, he's not a lunatic, he, he's Lord. He's the Lord of glory. And his resurrection is really kind of the Father's seal of, or affirmation or declaration that Christ was faithful and true and his beloved son with whom he is well pleased. Not just that he's accomplished our salvation and death can't hold him, but that he's declared, he's vindicated. And that has application for us as well because often we're maligned, uh, we're accused of being fools. Uh, people think you know, Christianity is a joke or can't be shouldn't be believed that religion is, quote-unquote, a crutch. And, and yet it is for people who can't save themselves. That's why Christ came. And, and we will be vindicated on that last day. We will be declared to be you know, children of God, um, cleansed, washed, sanctified, come share in your Master's happiness on that day of uh, Christ's return and His final judgment. We will be vindicated in a similar way to the way Christ was vindicated through His resurrection from the dead. People may think all sorts of things about you, um, but God the Father is pleased with us for the sake of Christ, and we will be vindicated on that day. So take comfort in that and, and live for God's glory. Be blessed.